Let's let's start with the um, Santa Barbara um, kid. We look at the reaction, and it, I don't know about you, but it really bothered me that the immediate reaction was a hashtag. Yes, all women. That's the society that we've become. What about the fact that this kid was walking around, there was no neighbors, there was no community, there was no one looking out saying, hey, this kid's a real danger. I know the cops went to him and he pulled one over on them, but when are we going to look at the real problem here instead of a, a symptom? This is not about misogyny, I, I don't think. I think this is about No, this is about, the, I a really, psychotic this, is a, this is about our society going dark. There's no good and evil anymore enough to be able to say, this is an evil force that is, is working here in my home. Get all of this stuff out. Get all of this stuff out and strip the family back down to its basics. Strip us back down to the basics. What did that kid have to look forward to? Honestly, what did he have to look forward to? Getting lucky? That was it. No. Being somebody with it a cool car? The only thing that wasn't handed to him. Everything else, his car, his sunglasses, everything was given to him. This was the only thing that he had to work for and couldn't right. get. And he couldn't get it. And because he couldn't get it, because it's yes, dear, yes, dear, yes, dear. Well, you deserve it. You're special. No, you're not. Nobody is special. Nobody is special. We're all the same. Find out what makes you, you, and apply that. Nobody's talking about that anymore. We're talking about fairness. Honestly, honestly, I, I, I've talked to Tanya just the last two weeks. Let's sell the house. Let's sell the house. Let's sell everything. Let's have a small little place. Let's just get, let's just get a little teeny ranch, you know, 1,500 square feet, just live in that and just be normal. I think if you're a parent today, I, at least me, I thought about this killer all weekend long. And, and, and forgive me for saying this, I thought about the families, I thought about the lost kids and, and it's a horrible, horrible situation. But me, I, I thought about my sons and my daughters, can they, you know, w will they go off to school and be lost? Yes, I dealt with that one starting at, um, starting at Columbine. Now I'm starting to think, what is this devil that is eating our children? What is it that, what, what do we do? How do you even protect against that? Uh, can you tell me the um, phone call that we got from the administration, what was it, yesterday when they uh, mistakenly identified the station chief of Afghanistan for the CIA? Yeah, I mean, they, they sent a general press release which basically said it was a mistake on several levels, including junior grade uh, White House officials, uh, also the military. It, it, there were about three levels of mistakes that happened simultaneously, if you believe that. Again, we ask about this administration on purpose, Incompetent. Okay, so let, let's just let, let's just ask this, because you can come to that answer pretty quickly. How does a low-level staff member who doesn't have any idea what he's even talking about get the name, basically the knock list? I mean, I did see Mission Impossible One. How did a low-level staffer get the name of the station chief? and have the ability to put that in a White House press release? Answer Jeffy's question, incompetence or on purpose? Not incompetence. What? Then why? It, why? What is the purpose of releasing that other than to get Americans killed? But I mean, you, Glenn, to, to buy into that, you have to believe that the military made a mistake, the White House made a mistake, and nobody caught it except for a Washington Post beat reporter? I don't think so. And then once confronted with it, oh, that's right, oh my gosh, sorry. May I just say, too, that the result is catastrophic. I mean, not only is this guy's career in life ruined, but the mission that he was engaged in, which apparently was pretty high level in Afghanistan, is now blown. It's catastrophic. Muslim Brotherhood in the White House. There is Muslim Brotherhood in the White House. There's Muslim Brotherhood in the Department of Homeland Security. There's Muslim Brotherhood in the Pentagon. 
That's how this happens. Anybody have anything else they want to share? They're going to no longer, um, what is it? Oh, they're going to get rid of uh, employee ratings to avoid discrimination. Get your review and you're told if you're good, bad, whatever, how, what you can improve on. They're afraid that's going to lead to discrimination so you can no longer review your employees. The uh, U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is planning to give employees who achieve low scores on their, their evaluations a raise because they want to make sure they're not discriminated against because the, over, the majority of people who got lower performance ratings were either black, Hispanic, or elderly. So they're going to give them raises just to ensure they don't feel discriminated against even though they are not good employees. Promote to the level of incompetence. So we're literally failing thing. upward. Well, the good news is it won't last. If you bring your kids close to you, if you start practicing the time-tested, really um, um, eternal truths, you're going to be fine. Your family's going to be fine. The country's going to be fine. It's going to reset. This whole thing is just going to go and then have to be restarted. So who's going to restart it? What's it going to look like on the restart? Did you see the guy on ESPN Friday? Yeah, we're, we're trying to get him on, St Stephen A. Smith. They've overplayed their hand. It's all beginning to collapse on them. And I think that guy with that particular uh, rant where, I don't care what you say, fire me. Courage is contagious. Hey. Got to play, play the audio today because it's a good sign of hope. Yeah. Stephen A. Smith is a sellout. Stephen A. Smith's an Uncle Tom. Stephen A. Smith ain't black. You ain't one of us. These are the kind of things that were said to me yesterday. Twitter, emails, you know, friends didn't say that to me. What they did was they called up and, and, and tried to talk to me to challenge me on my points of view. Those that are in my inner circle, family, friends, loved ones, they know that I have nothing but love for them and, and I appreciate where they're coming from. But when I say I don't give a damn, I can't even, effort that, that, that doesn't know justice. I stand by everything that I said yesterday, tenfold, a hundredfold, and I don't care who in the black community disagrees with me. I'm not interested in their disagreement on this particular issue because they're not looking at the bigger picture here. You come full circle from the guy who's shooting, who had everything given to him, and he's crying about fairness. The guy on ESPN saying, don't believe any of that garbage. You gotta work for it. Everybody can't be Jay-Z. That, that's one in a billion. Everybody can't be Shaq and Kobe. That's one in a billion. But you can be Stephen A. Smith. Educate yourself, work hard, do what you have to do. Pound that pavement. Be about the business of going for yours and understanding what you have to do to work through the political minefields that work that waits for you in every step of our lives. <sighs> so true. That's what I'm talking about. You got to want it and you got to work for it. You got to be smarter, better. I was here yesterday. Greg was here. There were several people here yesterday. I built this place to look this way. I mean, we have to give the viewers a, a tour of this soon. We built this place to look this way for a reason, because this is Willy Wonka's dream factory. That's what this is. Hold your breath. It's a Take place a where, where dreams come true, where we can make magic. And it's not just for and us we'll and the blaze. It's for people who want to be more, do more. This, this whole complex, in the end, the way I see it vision, in the end, is an entrepreneurial mission that everyone here should be a little mini entrepreneur. And most companies would say, well, but wait, let's not encourage that because then we'll spend all this time and then they'll leave us and they'll, good, good. Let them leave us, let them go. Let them go find their own path and they'll be stronger because of it, and so will we. What's wrong with apprenticeships? What's wrong with getting people, and I mean people who are hungry, people who will do it, people who will come in and say, I, I have the talent, I have, I have uh, the drive, I do not have the skill. Teach me the skill. 
Yes, okay. That's what's missing. And that's what we're gonna bring back. That's what it will reset to, because it has to, because that system works. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all here together this morning. Thank you for the rest and for the weekend and for the time that we had with our families. Um, we thank you for this new space that you brought to us. We hope that it fills us with a new spirit of, of creativity and renewed energy and that we learn to cooperate, work together and share the things that only we can create here with the rest of the world who needs to, to hear it. Um, our prayers this morning go out to the families in California who lost their loved ones. And um, we ask that you help us make some sort of sense of this tragedy because right now it just seems really hard to make sense of. So we ask that you give us guidance and let our words comfort those that need it most this morning. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech halam, hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings us forth bread from the earth. Amen. Amen. From Dallas. Good night, America.